Because what I have been doing today is I've been doing a lot of reading, planning my engine rebuild. I'm learning a tremendous amount from the port David Vizards, how to pour cylinder heads. Wow. Um, I thought I learned a lot from Jaffer Mobile or, or uh, Head Bites. But this goes so beyond that. I mean, as I read this, I, it's obvious that Jaffro actually knows about different competing ideas to go into this. But this particular book, he goes into incredible trade secrets that literally, if you sell it, you have to give him 7.5% because he has a patent on it. Um, talking about the quasi quad shaped head. One. Two. Two. Three. Two. Four. Yeah. Welcome to the D.E. Nichols channel. <laughs> Out of the bottom.com. All the engines I've I own at this time are all four valve heads. And the concept he shares that's patented, that's his, it's David Vizards, okay, is that you get a bigger intake valve and you de-strat around it, make sure the flow is really good. And you also open up on the intake through here on just one side shape the split to compensate with this primary versus secondary flow. Now this this pattern, at least up in the, in the port area, has been accused many times of being a way to get an efficient instead of a, a powerful engine. And really, efficiency is power. It's just the better you utilize this space, it is going to use more more fuel. It is. Okay. Concept is you have a bigger valve. It increases the flow out of one, and because it's the primary flow, it creates a swirl, and that gives you more power. This is on a scale, so that's 25,000 RPMs. I mean, really, or 2,500 RPMs. So really, I'm only looking up in here, and since he's building race heads, he's looking way up here, you know, into tremendous uh, RPMs. I mean, CFM flow and swirl RPMs. So, going across here is the CFM. And it really just makes a tiny bump. And honestly, with my tiny little engine, all these little things will just add up a little bit. The other problem that I'm experiencing is this valve appears to be quite a bit larger than the other. Um, in my chamber, the valve is almost already as big as it can get. I can get a little bit bigger, but truly, I can't find oversized valves. I only need four of them. Oversized just the one side. Have it machined to fit. Have it machined on the side that fits where you have your primary flow to create the swirl. And you know, even if you only did this, only reshaped the port this way, and didn't have that valve, it still would create a swirl, but it just wouldn't create as much. And on two valve heads, the idea is completely different. What he tends to do is he actually shows circumstances where they actually move the port over a bit just to make this have more of a turn. And if whichever direction it turns is the side that you actually have to add metal, add metal here, and it creates a swirl, which is what I was thinking of doing when I studied this until I realized the way he creates swirls in a four valve head is completely different than a two valve head. Create swirl around. So I was trying to plan out uh, my knife edge, my everything based on this, but it's so much easier when I just 
see how he does it on the four valve instead. So that is the plan. Um, he says that on the modern heads, the car is already 90% there. There's not much you can do to make things better. So really, it's it's working on where the valve sits in the combustion chamber and on the port side. So on both sides of the valve, you get that nice and you'll be in the right place. Now that's done. Remember, get out there and work on something.